Hello everyone and welcome to Fact Space, where we're looking at types of gorillas. Gorillas are best described as the world's gentle giants. They actually have a lot of human-like behavior that makes them quite intriguing. That's not all, gorillas are the largest primates in the world. And like with any other animals in the world, they are divided into different subspecies and species. To be more specific, gorillas can be grouped into two types or two species, so to speak. They are eastern and western gorillas. When it comes to subspecies, each of the different species is grouped into two. What do I mean? Well, the eastern gorilla has two subspecies known as the mountain gorilla and the eastern lowland or growers gorilla. On the other hand, the western gorilla is grouped into the cross river and western lowland gorilla. These species can be found in each side of the Congo Basin forest. The Eastern Gorilla The Eastern Gorillas are bigger than the Western Gorillas. Additionally, they also have longer, darker fur, while the smaller Western Gorillas have shorter fur, which is usually brown or even gray. Let's take a closer look at each, starting with the two Eastern subspecies. The Mountain Gorilla Scientific name, Gorilla Beringi Beringi as the name suggests, this gorilla is usually found at a high altitude and has been around since 1902. In 2018, the mountain gorilla was listed as endangered. These gorillas can be found in two major areas, namely Virunga Volcanic Mountains and the Bwindi Impenetrable National Park in Uganda. However, they are also found in the volcano in Ngahinga National Parks. The mountain gorillas have the adult male silverbacks sporting silver hairs on their backs and hips. In most cases, there is usually only one silverback in a group. However, the group typically has more than one female and an average of four offspring or more. Currently, there are around 1,000 of these gorillas, which is an improvement as compared to the past. Unfortunately, there used to be a lot less since their population was badly damaged by illegal hunting, civil wars, diseases, and the illegal pet trades. Eastern Lowland Gorilla Scientific name, Gorilla Beringue Graueri The Eastern Lowland Gorilla, also known as the Grower's Gorilla, is the largest compared to all the four subspecies. To be more specific, the Grower's Gorilla is way larger than the Mountain Gorilla in size. The Eastern Lowland Gorilla can be found in the forest of the Eastern Democratic of Congo. About 20 years ago, there was around 17,000 Grower's Gorilla. Sadly, their count has reduced to just under 4,000. The Grower's Gorillas are also listed as endangered species since their number keeps on reducing. That's because these animals are used as pets, food, medicine, and even charms. Truth be told, the gorillas are not magical. That's just a myth that threatens the existence of these beautiful creatures. On a lighter note, the Grower's Gorillas are arguably the most social animals. They camp in groups of between 2 to over 30 gorillas. They usually spend most of their time eating and busking under the sun. The Western Gorilla Western Gorilla is one of the most widespread animals in the world. They are typically found in Cameroon, Democratic Republic of Congo, and the Central African Republic. They can also be found in Equatorial Guinea and Gabon. These types of gorillas are easily distinguished from the other types of gorillas through their brown-gray coats, slightly smaller size, and their auburn chests. More to that, as we said earlier, they are classified into two subspecies. The Cross River Gorilla, scientific name Gorilla Gorilla Dili. The Cross River Gorillas are an amazing species that are critically endangered. This small group of animals can be found between Cameroon and Nigeria. They are actually among the rarest apes on the planet. On first encounter, the Cross River Gorillas are similar in appearances to the Western Lowland Gorillas. The only difference between these two subspecies is in the shape of their skull. As with all gorillas, the Cross River Gorillas are very social animals. They typically live in groups headed by a silverback dominant male. Western Lowland Gorilla Scientific name, Gorilla Gorilla Gorilla. The western lowland gorillas are usually in gray-brown to black color. However, they usually turn gray as they age. In most cases, males weigh more when compared to females. Currently, most of the western lowland gorillas are found in the Republic of Congo. These gorillas prefer living in the rainforest and flooded forests. The western lowland gorillas have small ears and prominent brow ridges. Additionally, their face, palms, feet, and upper chest are hairless. 
As the males age, they typically develop a broad silvery saddle on their backs, and that's the origin of the term silverbacks. What does a gorilla eat? Gorillas are truly noted for their vegetarian habit. That is, they feed on bamboo shoots, stems, as well as fruits. But the western lowland gorilla seems to have an unusual appetite for feasting on termites and ants. They are usually noted for breaking open any available termite nest that is around them so they can feed on the larva. Do gorillas exist as solitary animals? They prefer to live in groups, which can comprise of 2 to 40 members. But what is out of the question is having a gorilla live alone. They never do that. In any group of gorillas, the dominant male is seen as the leader, and he usually ends up leading the group for a number of years before he succeeded. How close are they related to humans? If you've watched a couple of Hollywood films that have had gorillas as part of the storyline, you probably already know that these guys share a couple of common features with us humans. But what you may not be aware of is the degree of closeness between them and humans. As intelligent and charismatic as they are, gorillas have a 98.3 DNA resemblance with humans. As a matter of fact, these animals are our closest family members after bonobos and chimpanzees. So the next time you come across a gorilla, try to capture the resemblance they have to human behavior. The stats tell you that we are not that far apart. What threatens the existence of gorillas? If we know what threatens the existence of these gorillas, then sending them into extinction can be completely avoided. Poaching and habitat destruction are some of the biggest factors that have been limiting the continued growth of these animals. Gorillas have equally had to put up with diseases like Ebola. All these factors put together have played a huge role in the decline of gorilla subspecies growth. A good number of gorillas, and most likely the bulk of them, are currently living outside protected areas. While this has raised concerns for those involved, steps are being worked out to relocate them to safer gorilla sanctuaries like what is in Congo at the present. How big can they be? A fully grown up male gorilla weighs as much as 440 pounds while attaining a max height of about 6 feet when they stand on their own two legs. The mature males are referred to as silverbacks simply because of the white hair that forms on their backs when they get to the age of 14 years. What is the birth rate of gorillas? The gestation period for females is approximately eight and a half months. Additionally, they are also known for nurturing their young ones for many years. So back to our question, the females basically give birth once in a period of between four and six years. That, by all standards, is certainly a slow rate of populating any kind, and that is why they find it difficult to overcome any form of population decline that's been administered by the limiting factors we've talked about earlier on. But if that's how nature works when it comes to gorillas, then the best we can do for them as intelligent beings are ensuring their safety and being supportive of their existence. Are gorillas affected by wildlife crime? The slow breeding rate of gorillas is not the only factor that threatens the existence of gorillas. Illegal trades of this animal, as well as other members of the ape family, has always been a challenge in the whole of Central Africa. The authorities responsible for protecting these animals are seriously up against a daunting task. That is why they're working with other passionate stakeholders to keep an eye on this unholy trade. They are all advocating for more wildlife regulations that will be more effective in stemming the tide. Conclusion: Gorillas are not as cruel as we might think. That's probably because of what you know about them from fiction movies and the rest. These animals are a loving set of creatures that have the right to exist just as we do. If we share as much as 98.3 similarity in our DNAs, then we should protect gorillas from illegal trade and poachers. I bet there's still a lot we've not covered when it comes to gorillas. Who knows? We might just find more information about our origins, all thanks to gorillas and other primates.